live from San Francisco, it's theCUBE. Covering Samsung Developer Conference 2017. Brought to you by Samsung. Okay, welcome back everyone. Live here in San Francisco, we're here at the SDC, the Samsung Developer Conference. I'm John Furrier, the co-founder of SiliconANGLE and co-host of theCUBE. My next guest is Lisa Fetterman, who's the CEO of Namaku, and she's a three-time triple star winner, Forbes under 30. Inc. 30 under 30, and Zagat 30 under 30. That's a weird one. That's a great one. You know, you'd like to get the Michelin star soon. Tell us about your company. It's a really super story here. You're going to get, you have this new device. You guys started. Tell the story. Well, speaking of Michelin stars, I used to work under the best chefs in the nation. I worked under Mario Batali, Jean Georges at the three Michelin star restaurants and I saw this huge hulking piece of laboratory equipment. We would cook so many of our components in it and I lusted after one for myself. But they were $2,000 and up. So then I was like, well, you know what? I'm going to save up money. And then I went on a date with a plasma physicist and he said, hey, you know what? We could just make we could just make it on our own. We, went, we run to the hardware store and we make a prototype. We travel all across the United States and teach people how to make their own DIY open source sous vide kit to the point where we amassed so much attention that Obama invited us to the White House. And then we put on Kickstarter, it becomes the number one most funded project in our category, and we are here today with our connected home sous vide emergency circulator that interacts with Samsung Smart Fridge. That's a fantastic story, all in a very short time, well done. So let me just back up, so you guys have the, the consumer device that all the top chefs have. That's okay, right. That's the key thing, right? It's consumable, consumable low priced, what's the price point? So we do hardware, software, and goods. Right now, the price of our machine is $49 on souschef.namiku.com because it interacts with the food program. So there's food that comes with the machine. You wave the food in front of the machine, it automatically recognizes the time and temperature and interacts with different time and temperatures of different bags of food and you just drop it in. In 30 minutes, you have a gourmet chef prepared meal, just the way that we would do it in Michelin star restaurants. And now you're connecting it to Samsung, so they have the smart things messaging. That's kind of the marketing, smart cloud, smart things. What is it? So what does that mean? Like it's connected to the Wi-Fi, mm. uh, connect to an app. Take us through the how it connects to the home. So we're connected through <laughs> Family Hub, which is the system inside of the Samsung Smart Fridge. Every single Samsung Smart Fridge ships with a Namiku app pre-downloaded inside of it. And the fridge and the Namiku talk to each other. So there's inventory management potential, um, there's, there's learning consumer behaviors to help them. Let's mm -hmm. say you cook a piece of chicken at 4 a.m. 4 a.m. You go to a subset of people who also do that. Like, wow, and then we recognize that those folks do CrossFit. They will eat again at 7 a.m. because they eat more little meals rather than full meals. And then we can recommend things for them as their gate goes along and help manage yeah. things for them, like a personal assistant. So it's like a supply chain of your personal refrigerator. So can you tell if the chicken's going to go bad so you cook the chicken now kind of thing? Like, that would be helpful. You can absolutely tell when, if the chicken's going to go bad. If the chicken, if, if there's a recall or the chicken is expired and you tap it with the machine, the machine will tell you to throw it out. So talk about some of the travels you've been under. You said you traveled the world. You also, you know, have done a lot of writing, best-selling author. Tell us about your books and what you're writing about. So I wrote the book called Sous Vide at Home. It's an international bestseller and it's sous vide recipes. Everybody has been lusting after sous vide since we invented the uh, technology in 2012. So much so actually that the market for it grows 2.5x every single year. So the adoption rate is insane. The adoption rate for sous vide actually has surpassed that of the internet the cell phone, and the personal computer. Why is the um, excitement on the Kickstarter, obviously the record breaking, and the sales and the, the trend, why, why is it so popular? Is this because of convenience? Is it the ease of use? All of the above? What's the main driver? All of the above. So, okay, if you ever cooked in the kitchen and you lost your confidence, it was mostly because you messed something up in the kitchen. Yeah. This is full proof cooking. So at 57 degrees Celsius, that's when the fat and the collagen melt into the muscle of steak, making each bite so juicy, tender, and delicious. We can set it at exactly that magic temperature, drop the steak in, and then put it in the water. When you cook it like that, there's no overcooking the muscle, and it becomes effectively marbled, but all that juicy, fat deliciousness. Oh, I'm kind of hungry already. Yeah. <laughs> Leonard wants a steak. <laughs> I can hear Leonard uh, moaning over there. Okay, let's get down to the science here, because a lot of people might not understand, like, what temperatures to cook anything. Do you guys provide some, like, best practices? Because this is, like, I mean, this is a game changer for my family of four. Mm. Right? You want to move, cook fast, but you want to have meals staged potentially and then recook them. How does someone use it? Is there a playbook? Is there a cookbook? 
like we say in the industry, there's an app for that. <laughs> the app is on the smart fridge and it's also on your smartphones. And moreover, it so the machine acts as a standalone sous vide machine for you to cook your own recipes and it also reads RFID tags from our meals. So if you use our meals, then it's a no-brainer. You just tap and then put in the water. There's nothing more. Actually, people get flustered that it's so easy. They're like, that's it? That was that was all that was? But I hate smart devices that actually make people stupider. Yeah. So being a standalone CV machine, you can create any, any of your recipes, whether it's from my cookbook, the app, which is community focused. Okay. So we have over a thousand recipes inside there from our community. People make it and they share it with the world. So with the Kickstart, I'm, I'm just going to ask that next question. I'll say community layer. Sure. Kind of like, is it like a Reddit page? Do you have your own pages? What's going on with the community? Tell us about the community. Oh, the community. So everybody who has an AmiQ downloads our app called Tender. And inside you can make your own Not profile. Not to be confused with Tinder. Correct. Tender. Although okay. I wouldn't mind if you confused it. <laughs> and instead of going out, I guess you're making dinner. Swipe left for the steak and right <laughs> for the chicken. Exactly. Exactly. So, I mean, I we love the play on the word. <laughs> it is um, great. So when you make your own little profile, it encourages you to share. Uh, and it's really fun because you can keep your recipes in there so you never have to look it up ever again. You can bing it and it goes directly to your machine. It's great professional chefs too because you yeah. can share it with your entire team. Yeah. So maybe we should start a Cube food channel. You can get a dedicated recipe channel. Exciting. That's great. Will you be my sous chef? <laughs> of course. I'm, I'm a great guest to, to do that. If I can do it, anyone can do it. So how do I get one? How do people buy? What's mm. the deal? So it's namiku.com for just our hardware. And in California, we've launched our food program on souschef.namiku.com. Right now, our machines for the food program are only $49. That is such a great value, considering that sous vide machines are usually $200 and up now. Awesome. Well, thanks so much for coming on. I really appreciate it. Lisa Fetterman, the CEO of Entrepreneur of Namiku. Entrepreneur, great stuff here in theCUBE. Of course, we're bringing the food tech. And remember, farming tech is big too, so as the culture gets connected, the food from the, from the farm to the table is being changed with data and IT. More after this short break.